So I recently completed building my roll-off roof observatory, um, similar to the one in this photograph, though this is not mine. Um, this belongs to um, the owner of this project that I found while searching for a method to automate the uh, opening and closing of my roof. Um, when I found this, I figured I had to give it a try, um, even though I haven't motorized my roof yet. Um, this, this seems to do what I wanted mine to be able to do. So if you look through here, you'll see that he says you need a uh, fan accessory motor. Um, he says he uses a, a, a gate opener motor, which is probably the route that I'm going to take as well. This the sliding gate motor seem to be very popular with roll-off roof observatory owners. This uses an Arduino Uno and on an Arduino 4 relay shield. Um, and he is given some details of his uh, observatory that he built. He built a remote uh, location and uh, a couple of photographs there. So here's the code that's used by the Arduino. Um, and it's uh, you can copy and paste it uh, out of um, out of this window and I suggest that you do when I first started playing around with this project I downloaded from the download button and it must must not have been up to date because I, the code that I got was um, looked to be an earlier version of this code and it did not work um, uh, it had me stumped for quite some time trying to figure out what was going on before I figured out that the code in this window did not match the code that I had in my Arduino IDE and um, so yeah you're gonna want to use this code um, here um, here's a schematic um, which kind of shows how you hook up the relay board the um, the relay shield fits over the top of the Uno and um, it has three sensors um, the safe sensor which would be a sensor attached to the telescope that would um, indicate when the telescope is in a safe position it has the uh, closed sensor and the open sensor. So um, let me just uh, uh, and then um, the actual relay here goes out to the um, to the to the motor controller uh, connector. This would be like a doorbell type switch, which um, when you uh, the Arduino would request um, an open or a close, it would close a connection on this switch to start the motor moving. And here's how you would patch it in on this brand's um, gate motor. Um, and you could probably find uh, instructions, diagrams for an, another type if you went with a different one. But this one is very popular. I may go with this this one. I may go with another one that's on available on Amazon. I, I haven't decided yet. Um, but basically it just shows you how you can wire it in and how you can wire in this, the scope connections. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, so what I did, um, let me turn on my uh, little webcam here. So you can see, um, hopefully it'll come on. There we go. So you can see um, I have the Arduino here. Um, and I've, I'm using this breadboard as a as a test, so I can kind of see what works. The sensors uh, are represented by these little buttons. This bottom button here. This is the uh, scope safe button, which uh, uh, would be here the safe sensor. So if I press this button, the screen light comes on, indicating that the scope is in a safe position. This would be important for uh, for people whose um, whose telescopes would interfere with the closing of the roof when they're in their up position. Mine um, has just enough clearance to where um, neither of the two scopes that I currently use um, will, will would collide with the roof. So I'm probably not going to use the uh, scope safe sensor at this time, but that's something I could do in the future. So what I'm going to do for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, short circuit this button to indicate that it's uh, let me move it over one more give it a little bit more room to indicate that the um, that the uh, the scope is in a safe position to en enable this to work um, I'm going to switch over to um, to Nina 
which is what I use um, for my imaging. And as you can see in Nina, um, I have the RRCI ASCOM driver. So let me just disconnect real quick here. Uh, let me do it here. And um, so I have the RRCI driver um, for the ASCOM Reef Observatory, and this is version 1.00 from CD Astro. Um, that's where this driver came from. I'm going to disconnect the dome real quick here. And it's available um, as an ASCOM uh, item here. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect it back again. And let me drag this over. So there is a um, little control uh, panel that you can turn on or off. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up my simulation of the uh, ASCOM driver as well here. So I'm using a uh, ASCOM simulator for the EQ mod because I have a have an, um, an Orion uh, mount which uses the same, it's basically the same as the uh, HEQ5. So this um, mount the simulation is currently not part and it is tracking at a sidereal rate and the shutter is because neither of the sensors is active if you look here um, neither of the sensors um, is indicating that it's in the home or open pos or closed position so um, the, the system really doesn't know where the roof is so I'm going to press the press down this button here and that is the sensor represents the shutter is closed so now for uh, all intents and purposes the um, the shutter is closed. So if I want to do an open command, I would press the open button here and um, I've got a buzzer attached to the breadboard to indicate uh, when the when it's opening so you can watch what happens when I click open. Ha! Tracking may not be when the mount is parked. So uh, it beeped and the relay switched. It triggered the button. So now I'm going to move my finger from the uh, close to the open position and that's going to reset that relay and now the uh, computer updated with shutter so let me I'm just going to turn off park here because I doubt I'll be using the park feature of this I'll be using the park command within within Nina um, so now the telescope is parked I'm going to go ahead and unpark it and put it back on sidereal it's not going to matter uh, so the roof is considered to be open because the signal was sent and the sensor was tripped. So now if I want to close the roof, I'm going to hit the close. And you see the relay switched. And the buzzer went off indicating uh, the, um, the roof command was sent to close. So I'm going to release the sensor for open and depress the sensor for closed. Resets that relay and it updates show the shutter is closed. So just going back and forth if we want to open the roof we press the button and then the sensor trips when it is open. So now it is open and to close it uh, same thing happens and then we'll say and now it's closed. And that's pretty much all I have so far. Um, I do intend to put in a, uh, a rain sensor relay as well, or a couple of them for redundancy, um, just in case there is a, uh, a rainstorm or something sneaks in. Uh, typically, I wouldn't be imaging if there's a forecasted storm, but um, these sometimes you can be surprised. So I'll put a couple of rain sensors out that will be wired directly to the to the close command, and um, because of the sensors, the uh, if the if the if the dome is closed, uh, it's not going to issue another another close command. So it's not going to accidentally open when it's trying to close. So that should prevent uh, an accidental opening during a rainstorm by Nina after an emergency close from the rain sensors. And I'll probably also wire in a, a little relay that I can use to open and close the roof with my Alexa. Um, most of the opening will probably be done um, uh, non-scripted. It'll be something that I will I will physically come in here and I'll probably click open just to make sure the roof is uh, uh, that the sky is clear and.
cloud and uh, at least rain free when I open it. So I would do that and then once the uh, the roof is recognized open by the system I could start my imaging routine and then all I would have to do is just insert a uh, a close sequence at the end of my night so after my last sequence is run um, the scope is parked the camera heater is turned on um, I can have it close the roof up and then in the morning I can get up and check my computer for the imaged files all right, so I'm going to stop this. I'm probably not going to use this recording because uh, I fumbled around a lot, but I may end up re-recording this later. But anyway, thanks and clear skies.